In this lecture, we are going to understand how to solve the different types of questions based on the arrangement of bulbs. And to start with, I have taken this question from GATE 2001 Electrical Engineering Exam. And according to the question, there are two incandescent light bulbs of 40 watts and 60 watts ratings and they are connected in series across the mains then option a says the bulbs together will consume 100 watts option b says the bulbs together will consume 50 watts and option c says the 60 watts bulb will glow brighter and the last option option d says the 40 watts bulb will glow brighter so after looking at the four options it is clear that we are required to find two things the first thing is to find out the total power consumption because of the two bulbs connected in series combination and the second thing is to find out which bulb is glowing brighter 40 watts bulb or 60 watts bulb now before moving to the solution of this problem we will first understand what is the meaning of incandescent incandescent means emission of light when the element is heated so the bulbs we are having consist of an element which is providing the resistance to the current flow and due to this power is getting dissipated in the form of heat and therefore there is emission of light and the bulbs are glowing and you must have observed when we buy any bulb from the market there are some values written on the bulb and these values are known as the rated values and usually the rated power the rated voltage and the rated frequency are mentioned on the bulb now what do we mean by the rated values the rated values are those values maintaining which we can have the maximum efficiency of the bulb so for any electrical device or equipment we can definitely provide the values more than the rated values but in that scenario the efficiency of the device will not be the maximum and let's say the filament of the bulb is offering the resistance equal to R and we are providing the rated voltage to our bulb and we know we know the power dissipated will be equal to square of the rated voltage divided by the resistance of the filament and now you can notice one thing the power dissipated is equal to the rated power and it is because we are providing the rated voltage and from here we can say that the rated power is inversely proportional to the resistance offered by the filament remember this point it is an important point and we will use it while solving our question now moving forward we will find out which bulb is glowing brighter and according to the question there are two bulbs connected in series and the rated power of the first bulb let's say pr1 is equal to 40 watts and the rated power of the second bulb let's say pr2 is equal to 60 watts and i will assume the resistance offered by the first bulb equal to r1 and the resistance offered by the second bulb equal to r2 and when we connect them across the mains let's say they are getting the voltage equal to vm and as they are in series the same current will flow through them and let's say the current is equal to i 
Now when we compare the rated powers of the two bulbs, we can see that the rated power of the first bulb is less than the rated power of the second bulb. So PR1 is less than PR2 and from here we can say that resistance R1 will be more than resistance R2. So this is one very important conclusion we have obtained and using this we can have our answer. We can find out which bulb is glowing more. Now focus on the next important point. Here we are providing the voltage Vm to the combination of two bulbs in series and it is not important that both the bulbs are getting their respective rated voltages and therefore it is not important that the power dissipated by them are equal to their respective rated powers. So let's say the power dissipated by the first bulb is equal to P1 and the power dissipated by the second bulb is equal to P2 and P1 will be equal to the square of the current through the first bulb multiplied to the resistance offered by the first bulb. Similarly, P2 will be equal to I square R2. And initially we have found R1 is greater than R2. And this implies I square R1 is greater than I square R2. This means P1 is greater than P2. So our first bulb is dissipating more power than our second bulb. However, the rated power of the first bulb is less than the rated power of the second bulb. But this does not mean that this bulb cannot dissipate more power. In this particular arrangement, it is dissipating more power and therefore the 40 watt bulb is glowing more and therefore our answer is option D. So I hope you now understand how to perform the analysis when two or more bulbs are connected in series and now we will understand what will happen when we have two bulbs connected in parallel and we know in parallel connection both the bulbs will have the same voltage across them and therefore power dissipated by the first bulb will be equal to Vm square divided by R1 and the power dissipated by the second bulb P2 is equal to Vm square divided by R2 and R1 is greater than R2. This means P1 will be less than P2. P1 will be less than P2 and therefore 60 watt bulb will glow more. This is our first bulb and this is our second bulb and this bulb will glow more in the parallel combination but the first bulb will glow more in the series combination. So this is all for series and parallel combination of bulbs and now we will understand how we can find out the total power when the two bulbs are connected in series. The total power, let's say PT, will be equal to the power dissipated by the first bulb plus the power dissipated by the second bulb. And we know P1 is equal to I square R1 when the two resistors are connected in series and P2 is equal to I square R2. I will take I square common so we have I square inside the bracket, 
R1 plus R2. And we know from the Ohm's law, current I is equal to Vm divided by R1 plus R2. R1 plus R2. So now we have the total power Pt equal to Vm square divided by R1 plus R2 square multiplied to R1 plus R2. R1 plus R2 will cancel and therefore now we have Pt equal to Vm square divided by R1 plus R2 or we can write we can make few rearrangements and we can write 1 over Pt equal to R1 plus R2 divided by Vm square or we can write 1 over Pt equal to R1 divided by Vm square plus R2 divided by Vm square. Or we can write 1 over Pt equal to 1 over Vm square divided by R1 plus 1 over Vm square divided by R2 and Vm square divided by R1 is equal to the rated power of the first bulb. So finally, we are having 1 over Pt equal to 1 over Pr1 plus 1 over Pr2. Or we can write the total power is equal to Pr1 multiplied to Pr2 divided by Pr1 plus Pr2. So if we know the rated powers, we can find out the total power in the series combination of bulbs. And in the question, it is given that the rated power of the first bulb is equal to 40 watts and the rated power of the second bulb is equal to 60 watts. Therefore, the total power is equal to 40 multiplied to 60 divided by 40 plus 60. In numerator, we will have 2400 and in denominator, we will have 100. So we are getting the total power equal to 24 watts, which is not there in the option. So A and B are incorrect options. C is also incorrect because 60 watt bulb is not glowing brighter, but 40 watts bulb is. Therefore, option D is the correct option. And this is all for this problem. Remember this important formula. And in this homework problem, you need to find how many 200 watts, 220 volts incandescent lamps connected in series would consume the same total power as a single 100 watts, 220 volts incandescent lamp. Try to solve this question and once you have your answer, post it in comment section.